Yum. Are you Sammy ready up? for your close up? Let's What's your tip? 20.3 pops. <laughs> Don't get agitated <laughs> like that. No. Yeah. Okay. So 20.3, repeat of 18.4. Uh, this guy here with the lovely locks it was the top time in the UK. Yeah, 810 back in 810. the day. So we're having a little guess there. Top time in the UK now. Safety standards gone up in the last 18 months. Seven, take 30 seconds off it, I reckon. 7.30? Yeah. 7.30. So there's our work pressure. Yeah. So if you look at the, the times from in the UK, especially from 2018, you can see that there's a bit of a difference between the guys and the girls. For the guys, a lot of it comes down to the deadlift. Proportionally, yeah. it's probably a little bit heavier for guys than the 93. The 143 is a bit heavier for guys than the 93 is yeah. for girls, especially at the top level. Um, so for girls, it comes down to a little bit more the handstand push-ups and handstand walks. Yeah. And guys, it's a bit more weighted in um, yeah, the deadlifts. Uh, first off, though, obviously there's loads of different standards, measurements, things that you've got to film. So if you are filming your attempt, just make sure either you've done it yourself or you've got a team that you trust that can just get everything set up for you. So you, your handstand walk, um, kind of length of the 25 feet there and back, make sure that's set up. You've got your two barbells with the plate, it's easily viewable. Yeah. Um, and then obviously the handstand push-up standard. Uh, and you've got all, all the marks lined up and ready to show on the video. Because you don't want, have to start the video and then it take 10, 15 minutes because you've messed something up. Um, you know, that can affect how you then start that workout and how you're performing it. Yeah. So make sure you've got all that under control first everything's sorted there then you can concentrate on your warm-up and you can get straight into the workout um into the yeah. workout into the workout uh deadlifts to start off the workout um fast reps uh so you've got less time under tension whether you're doing gonna go for 21 unbroken or split it up fast make sure your reps are fast less time under tension if you are going to break it up into three four sets um, count your rest in between them sets as well. So yeah. whether you count to three, five, okay, depending on how heavy it is for you. Um, keep on top of that. Other thing is, both for the lighter and heavier bar, a um, few people have just done it downstairs, you can see a notable difference when the bar is touching the floor further away from the shins. The reps are a lot slower and a lot harder. When the bar was closer to the shins or almost touching, the reps were a lot faster and they could get it up a lot quicker. That's going to be a big difference, especially going on to the heavier bar. Yeah, and uh, for a lot of people, the handstand push-ups are going to be kind of the hardest part of the workout, especially for the guys maybe who are doing this as just in your affiliate and you, your goal is to maybe finish the Diane part, the first 21.59, in under the nine minutes. And if you get past that, it's a bonus. So for you guys, so the handstand push-ups are going to be the point where you have to put a bit more <coughs> focus on to. Make sure you're not getting to that point where your handstand push-ups are, are failing um, or at least really fatiguing early on because that's when the heels start dropping down behind the line. You kind of you, you, you lose your midline a little bit and then that's when your heels keep coming in further, hands start slipping out. So maybe just split those handstand push-ups up a little bit earlier than you think so that every rep is perfect. Heels above the line, you don't waste any energy on that. Yeah. Um, for the guys who hands on push-ups are no problem, um, obviously it's just a case of then getting into the second part of the workout with plenty left in the tank. So rather than think of it as two separate workouts and going all in on the first 20 on 15 9, just see the bigger picture and just be ready for when um, you make that jump into the heavier barbell. Because uh, what is it, 23 kilo jump for girls, yeah. 43 kilo jump for the guys. Nice. Um, with your heart rate quite high uh, and a bit of fatigue there, you'll feel that jump um, quite a lot. Yeah. What I remember of and what we saw downstairs as well is the first handstand walk. I think you did it last time. I think Jane did it last time. A few people did it last time. We do the 21 deadlifts. It's the core and the kind of the, the posterior chain and your, sh your shoulders are a little bit fatigued as well. You kick up to the handstand <coughs> and just like, you just fall yeah, straight away. <laughs> so just be prepared for that kick up to handstand and just be ready that, you know, you might not be able to gain control of yourself straight away. But as soon as you've got it, you know, you should be able to then just kind of get into into the rhythm of your handstand walks and it should be no problem. Um, uh, I think for like the top, like you said, pace the work, like the first bit, the diam part, um, 
I think you'll see the top times, the time taken for Diane will take pretty much the same time as the second part. That's kind of what you should be aiming for, just the same pace through yeah. both parts of the workout if you you know, you are looking to finish that workout. Um, so, yeah. so base that first bit. Tell them. Tell them. Tell them, Poppy. Tell them. So base that first bit. Okay, so you're doing the second part at the same speed. All right, so if you're gonna go break up the deadlift 777, look to do the same splits on the second bar. Okay, so Pipe it down, will ya? Bops, come here. Last bit to think about, a bit of advice, I'll just remember is, with the jump from the first bar to the second bar, that's gonna feel a bit of a shock on those 21s, but then when you get round to it on the 15s, you've felt that weight a little bit. The weight, because the weight of the deadlifts is higher, and the handstand walks are higher skill than handstand push-ups, your heart rate could quite possibly have come down, because you have to take a bit more rest to do the exercise. So that set of 15 deadlift might feel a little bit better than you expect when you get to it. Um, I think that's everything from us. So, uh, On the handstand push-ups as well, actually, what a good little thing that we just kind of thought about. If you find that with the standard, you're kind of quite far over the line with your usual handstand push-up position, maybe start a little bit wider, um, so you're fatiguing the different muscles that you're probably going to be using on the handstand walk, and as you get tired, bring them hands in a little bit as well. Are you going to beat your time from two years ago? I have not, no, unfortunately. Not? You got well better at handstand push-ups than handstand walks. Well, it's true that, but I'm also less fit. I'm, I'm going to beat my time from 2018. What did you get? I didn't do it. Uh, that's, that's what you set yourself up. <laughs> uh, I'll do that. Do that. Yeah. Like that. Hey. Just cut that bit off. <laughs> like, like that. To his elbow. Yeah. <coughs> like, like this or what? Like. 14. They say your elbow. You say 14 your, inch. They say 14 inch. 14 inch? Yeah. 14 inch. Yeah. 14 yeah. inch. Like that. So that is. Like that. 7.25. 7.25. 7.25. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you can use this, there we go. So seven and a half is... Oh yeah, we're over there. We call it, 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 you upside down, it's obviously. Gen, gen, That's in there. That's so, him. Genuinely, when me and Brad did this two years ago. Pissed it, didn't we? <laughs> it, we flew over it by about, by about that far. It, we still shit the hands on though. We still shit the hands on. Still shit the hands on. Still could do it. Still could do it. So, how close, how far, how. Where you're always putting them. Put them in there, yeah. Yeah, man. How far? What's good. Inch, about, about length of my arm. <laughs> Strict is. Easy. Yeah. Oh, I could do that. Just finished 20.3. I uh, did what I said what I was going to do this morning in the JST group. So, when I did it two years ago, I did the 21.59 unbroken on the deadlifts and the handstand push ups. Um, and I was pretty smart going on to the second bit. Today, I broke up the deadlifts um, and I broke up the handstand push ups on the 15s. Uh, and I was 10 seconds slower on the first part, so finishing Diam. And then for the second part, move the deadlift bar better because I was fresher. Do the handstand walks unbroken. 
Um, and I went about 30 seconds quicker than that. Oh, train less. Get better. Um, so things I kind of took into account were like staying, you know, really far away from red line on the deadlifts. Um, so that's why I did 12.9, did fives on the 15s uh, and 5.4 on the nines. Handstand push-ups. Uh, when I was doing the reps to start, my feet were a little bit apart because um, it was fresh, I could easily get over. As I was getting more tired for me, I really kind of made sure that every rep I brought my feet together, pulled my toes down and was squeezing my quads really hard. My quads actually felt like they were fatiguing on the handstand push-ups when I was doing it. Um, so that was a biggie for me uh, and I did, that meant I didn't have to really kind of push out but like I say I broke the handstand push-ups on the 15s which just kind of kept me um, away from that red line and going on to the 9s um, kept the handstand push-ups from broken also I think with that little break on the 15s it meant that going on to uh, the handstand walk uh, I was a bit fresher so again not having to like really push out there um, save my triceps a little bit so again I could keep the handstand walk unbroken as well. Um, it went well. Really happy with how it went. So 20.3, if you definitely know you're going to get in far into the second bit, um, pay I am. Uh, it'll pay you dividends after. Good luck for 20.3. Make sure you crush it. Um, so for that workout I would say treat it as two as one big workout rather than two separate so there's no point pb in your diane time because the main part of that workout is the heavy deadlift bar um that handstand push-up standard again it's a bit tricky so just make sure you mark it properly and you have a judge um like keeping you accountable for it um it's hard but as you get tired so for me my hands did start to move out a little bit so then i had to just make sure i was pressing up a little bit more through the floor um, and bringing my toes down to make sure I still got over the line. Um, and then, yeah, don't be surprised if that first handstand walk feels a bit all over the place because it was a big tri bit tricky. Um, but yeah, just make sure you don't go too hard. Save most of it for that heavy deadlift bar.